you may have seen this. If you use an iPhone, you likely have seen it because HEIC is the default photo format in iOS. Let me, I'm going to show you the camera settings first, then explain it a bit, then tell you how you can convert if you need to. So here's the iPhone. And it's when you take a picture and save it, what format is it going to be saved in? That's controlled by your settings. Settings and camera and formats. High efficiency. That's what H-E-I-C stands for is high efficiency. If you don't want high efficiency, you would make it most compatible. From now on, your phone will be storing pictures in JPEG format. But I think you should use high efficiency as long as it's not causing you too much problems in the conversion. And we'll, we'll talk about that. The high efficiency is turned on by default in iPhones. So that's why some people think that it's only an iPhone thing, but it's not. On my Samsung, if I go into the camera and settings and picture formats, I have high efficiency also, but it's off by default. So if you want it, you have to go in and turn it on. On And I don't know how many Android phones have it. Yours does not, my, right? The Pixel does not. Right. My Pixel does not. Okay. So just what is it? <laughs> it's just a newer, better format for storing pictures. It's from the same folks that made the JPEG so long ago. The MPEG, Motion Picture Experts. Experts Group, made that format, and it's old, so they've made a new one. It's better. It stores more information in a smaller space. So I think you should be using it unless the HEIC is giving you too many problems with other applications. So converting HEIC to JPEG. In this First case. of all, in Google Photos, if I look at the information, this is an HEIC photo. But if I three dot download, notice what it's doing. It's turning it into a JPEG. I cannot, with Google Photos, download an HEIC. Google Photos can read HEIC, but it can only write JPEGs. So, you know, no, no problem. If your photos, and if you're doing it one at a time. Now, if you choose a bunch of photos in Google Photos and download them, uh, then they get zipped. And the HEICs will be, will remain HEICs within the zipped file. Okay. So that's, that's Google Photos. It converts automatically when you download, but there's lots more. <laughs> what about Windows? In Windows 11, you can open an HE, it, it reads HEIC files just fine with the native photos app. If you make any edits, once again, it cannot write an HEIC file. So when you make an edit, you are forced to save as, and it saves a JPEG file. If you don't need to make any edits, then you just open it in photos, click the three dot menu, choose save as, and select the file type that you want, JPEG. Windows 10, same thing except if you have never opened an HEIC file, you may need to download the codec. Don't ask me what that means, but it should prompt you for it. You should say, I can't read this file, 
go download this codec and you'll have a link to it. Once that's installed, you should be able to read ATIC. On a Mac, open the ATIC photo using preview, which means just double, double, click. double click on the file from the finder and it opens in preview. And then you have a menu under the file menu, you'll see export. Now converting, if you do, if somebody sent you a pile of HEIC files and you need them to be in JPEG, because for example, WordPress cannot use, at least it's been my experience. If I try to add a HEIC file to a WordPress web page, it says, I don't know what this is. So if you need to convert many files at once, you'll need some other software. There's lots of them. There's free ones. Just Google. Google for convert HEIC to JPEG.